Season three, episode 11, Ted Lasso, the pen ultimate episode. Pen ultimate, Adam, pen ultimate. I'm here with Adam. We watch these remotely, even though we probably, we could do these in person one of these times, but the last episode felt a bit like a pen ultimate, felt a bit like a finale, as I think I mentioned when we do the review, but there's still a lot of loose ends we need tied up. And we have a lot of time to do it with this episode because it's an hour and nine minutes. Obviously, we got the match against Rupert's team. What are they going to do with Nate now that he's seems to be on his redemption arc at this point? There is one thing we need in this episode. We need the intense conversation between Rebecca and Ted in Ted's office. We've had yeah. one of those in each of the seasons, and he even called it out last season where he says, this seems to be a, a yearly thing. Uh, we need that in this episode. We haven't really talked about it at all, this entire run of reaction and reviews that we've been doing for this season. But let's not forget, Jamie has got some issues when it comes to father-son relationship with his own father. He's got to he's got to face that. And Rebecca faced a lot of big things this past episode. This very well could be a Jamie episode in that regard. We should probably get started, I guess. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Miss Barnaby. Rough night? Ted, if it's not rough, it is isn't fun. Mm. <laughs> hey, Wanka. Don't get all cocky and fuck up that street killer. What street? Go on, Richmond. Yes, sir. There he is. Mom? <gasps> hey, Teddy. Finally, we get to interact a bit with Ted's mom. I don't think the cleaners has to clean the floor. They're on it. Oh, Nate's got a new job. Uh, this could be interesting. We're not open for another half hour. Would you care to wait? Not here. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Wait, wait. We're actually here to speak with Nathan Shelley. He works here, yeah? No such man exists. <laughs> how, how, how did you go through your money so fast? Did you get addicted to the Lambler? What? No, no, I just, I just like working here. like spending time with my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? <laughs> we want you to come back to Richmond. Want you to come back to Richmond? And all of you, you want me to come? Yeah. Well, it'd be good to have you back. I wonder if Will said something to him. The whole team talked about it and it was unanimous. What? Yeah, okay, no, we wanted to ask you to see if you actually wanted to come back before we approach Ted. Okay, well, sorry guys, I just don't think it's a good idea for me to come back to Richmond, so thank you. Well. Hmm. Hmm, Jade's gonna have a word. Okay, well, um, I mean, how long you been here? Just a week. A week? Where the heck are you staying? <laughs> this adorable little hostel. Ma. You know, I met so many Australians. Uh -huh. So much sex. What, what? Not me. The Australians. <laughs> now, look, I got to get to work. All righty. Have fun. You want to tag along? Well, I don't want to be in your hair. Mom, I want you in my hair, okay? I want you in my friends' and coworkers' hair. Now, please, come on with me. Okay, thank you. I would like that. Oh, I would too. Jamie, on the heels of making your England debut, how does it feel to be named Premier League Player of the Month? Uh, yeah, it feels good, I guess. But it's um, it's really the, the team making me look good. So I should be doing a better job of making them look good, really. He's distracted. So this morning, I don't just bring biscuits. Oh, boy. I have a very special surprise guest. I'm Coach Lasso's new bodyguard. Please keep your hands where I can see them. You can keep them well manicured mitts of yours wherever you like. Yeah. Oh my God, you're Ted's mother. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm finally getting to meet the woman who created one of the nicest humans I've ever met. Oh no, don't look at me. This one popped out and immediately asked the doctor if he needed anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to meet Danny Rojas. Oh, and he does not disappoint. Oh yes, please, <laughs> Dottie and Danny. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a cap of Mama Lasso? Oh, no, thank you, Danny. You are so polite. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't tell me she was coming, just showed up out of nowhere, you know, like one of them weird eyebrow hairs I started getting the day after I turned 40. Mm. That's what mothers do, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, mothers do that. Ted, if you can give your mum one lovely moment, you know, memory to take back home, when you've won. <laughs> Mrs. Lasso, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Trent Krim. Oh, hello, Trent. Hello. I was wondering if I could uh, just have a little chat with you. And Trent, your hair is fabulous. <laughs> Van Damme, you still got to wear that mask. Yeah, I do, man. Or else I die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make you look very stupid. 
Oh, wow. Thank you, Young Moss. Oh, you want to take a crack, Jamie? I think it's more important to be safe than to look cool. <laughs> Ralph is like, oh, Jamie. Roy! Roy, Roy is... Top! Boom, boom! Now! There we go. Yeah, I was going to say, Roy wasn't going to let this keep going. No. We got to see you on Saturday, so we need you to be the prickiest prick you've ever been in your little prick life. You understand? So I don't want you. <laughs> Roy's face. <laughs> what is wrong? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you fucking dying or some shit? <laughs> no, no, I'm no, I'm just, I'm just tired. I feel like the guy in the Red Bull commercial who's, who's pushing that big rock up the hill, but, but he's lost his wings, Roy. I feel like, I feel like I've lost my wings, Roy. Where the fuck are my wings, Roy? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Will. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> missed a good one. You missed a good one. <laughs> so, this morning, a few of my little birdies went to visit Nathan in his new job. Higgins is like various in Game of Thrones. I do believe in hey, Roy, would it bother you if we brought Nate back? No, I don't give a fuck. Oh. He's great at the shit I suck at. Look, I've got to go do something. You all right, Nate? Come. If you bring that Judas back, I will burn this place to the fucking ground. Yeah, Beard wasn't going to have that. And yeah, Higgins is that. choking. Oh. This is your mom? Yeah. Oh, it is so nice to meet Higgins you. Higgins, too. I want everyone <laughs> to meet her, and I need to see it all. Oh, weirdo Beardo. Right. Weirdo Beardo. She likes the body. don't bother nobody. Someone's got a football team on coach. I need your help with Jamie. He's all fucked in the head, and I've tried to do it myself, but it's all that emotional shit you're good at. Also, you look nice. Um, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. This is like £2. Reminds me of this Irish bar I went to in Topeka. Well, you probably don't want to share that with me. The Irish part or the Topeka part? Both, really. No, no! <laughs> had my heart ripped out of my chest stomped into a pulp and dragged to the town square for everyone to ridicule oh sweetie that's okay you'll meet somebody no I'm in love <laughs> you know Ted pinball's a lot more fun if you use an actual ball yeah well you know I was letting coach and my mom catch up a little so. May's gonna give him some truth they fuck you up. Yeah, mum and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. Mm. They fill you with the thoughts they had and add some extra, just for you. Man hands on misery to man. It deepens like a coastal shelf. Get out as early as you can. Don't have any kids yourself. <laughs> hey, Ted. Your mum's the bollocks. We just became friends on Facebook. I didn't know you were <laughs> almost a drummer in Coldplay. Oh. Hey, I brought you something. Well, no chance we'd bump into each other. No, it's your clippings from back home. Panic attack is right up front. Yeah, do you want to come to Manchester with us? Oh, I don't know. Well, thank you, but I think I'll just stay here. Mm. I didn't get much sleep last week, what with all that noisy sex from, not me, the, the Australians. Australians. Yes, no, I remember. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I forget when I'm watching your games. She's got to go to the game. Hey, um, are you still having those um, episodes? No, I've actually been uh, talking to this therapist. Ooh, let me guess. It's all my fault. Yeah, that's, no. that's what I thought she'd say. Of course. Yeah. You, uh, you ever thought about talking to someone? Oh, no, that is not my cup of tea. And you know I love my tea. She likes tea and he doesn't. That's interesting. She's so much like him too in other ways. Ladies and gentlemen, let our journey come in. Boy, he cleans up nice, don't he? You should see him in drag. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this man right here went from kit man to assistant coach to manager to top of the league. And now he's my head waiter. Uh. Was it drugs? I've done drugs. I get it. No, no, no. I just, I just like working here. And that's my girlfriend. <laughs> the question anyway, disappeared um, again. Enjoy the I just wanted to come and see how you're doing. 
What I told you. Mm. Oh, he's worried about you. You've got a lot going on right now. Mm, there's a lot going on, yeah. This is the first time you've played back home since you left. Ooh. The crowd's going to hate you. And the person who's going to be booing the loudest in the crowd is your dad. Yep. That, yeah. If you guys win tomorrow, then you will be on the precipice of achieving everything that you've ever dreamed. Oh my God. I, was say, is that, I don't know that that's what he needs to hear. That's what he's worried about. <laughs> I mean, it's not my favorite of them two together, but no. you know. I have seen this one. I know I need to see Splash. We'll, we will watch it. I'm more of a fan of Joe versus the Volcano. Never seen it. Where is this going? He's going to jump out. Why are you following me? <laughs> make sure you're okay, you prick. Are you Jamie Tart? Yeah. Well, like Jamie Fart, screw you, dickhead. <laughs> There's a fire, you yeah. pussy. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Hello, mummy. <laughs> Jamie's mom. Give it to him, Jade. Work anymore. Why? I'm a great waiter. But you're a coach. They want you back in Richmond. The thing is, it didn't really end too well for me there. And I think a lot of that was my fault. Well, it was, it was all my fault. Right. Yes, it was. You heard from Dad? No. I haven't heard from that human ball sack in ages. I always did what I did because fuck him. You know, and, and now that I don't give a shit about him, it's like, you know when some guys can't, Make the willies go hard. What do you mean, intent? Yeah, it's like I got that, but it's like I got it in my soul. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> I want that poster. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. I want that poster. <laughs> yeah. Your dad'll be in the stands tomorrow, and it won't matter. You don't have anything to prove to that old rag. You're not lost, my sexy little baby. Nah, I don't want to be just friends. Right. Why? What you guys think we should probably get? Uh, by the way, imagine having those two posters on your wall and they're sitting together, exactly, sitting together on your right. bed years later. It was great to meet you. I'm for the ride. Oh, this way, babe. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame Roy for trying. Jamie and Roy's sister, Roy and Jamie's mom. Oh, God. <laughs> uh-huh, right. Give her her moment that she'll remember. He's remembering Rebecca's advice. Here we go. Blue yep. moon. There he is, look at him. The city faithful letting Jamie Tart know how they feel about their former player who left them for reality television. Welcome on, dickhead! Some complimentary notes and I'll be back to get your drinks, okay? Physical play from City. Uh-huh. Crosses to the far post. Hughes! The match has barely begun, and the Welshman yeah. fires the great. Yeah. <laughs> it's calling Nate. Leslie, what are you doing? I'll celebrate when the final whistle is blown. I don't want to move and jinx it. Okay. <laughs> is this the equalizer? No! Van Damme is stepping up. Yeah. Van Damme has been good today. Van Damme races off his line to punch, but he finds Alakobi. Divalani has an open goal. No! Oh my God. Oh no. Wow. Oh. It looks like Tart is in quite a bit of pain. 
This is Ankoalo. He landed on it wrong. Get on yourself, prick! Now hold on, he's up, he's up, he's up. Okay. All right. Give it a go. We may have spoken too soon. But... <laughs> You're going in. Well, well hold, on, hold on. Hey, 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 don't hop out there quite yet, Tam, okay? Coach, we're man down. I uh, know, Coach. Just give me one second. Uh, what, what do you hey, got, Ted? Dude, do me a favor. Heal him. Use all your tricks, please. <laughs> okay. And there again. Damn. And again. There's just no penetrating the mask of Van I was going to say, is it the mask? Here we go. It's letting him go. <sighs> is he doing coke? <laughs> Nate, I've got to let you go. You're my top man. You're on time, you don't steal, you're sober. You're like my little unicorn, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it breaks my heart to say this, but Jade said if I didn't fire you, she was going to report me to the... Well, I can't say who because then you know what I've done, but... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Chris, Richmond are playing with a keeper. They've got a brick wall in front of the goal. For real? That's the person. I can see his arms and legs and his hideous mask. Oh, my it God. Seems like it's over <laughs> What you looking for up there, James? I'm looking for my dad. I can't find him. He's freaking me the fuck out. Yeah, I get that. It's like when you don't know where Freddy Krueger is. Because you know it's the second he's going to pop up out of nowhere and stick that knife hand of his right in your face. Yeah, Freddy Krueger's fucking terrifying. Yeah, well, he had a rough childhood. And as we all know, hurt people hurt people. Sometimes they just do with their knife hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jamie, if hating your pops ain't motivating you like it used to, it might be time to try something different. He's forgiven. Fuck that, I ain't giving him that. No, you ain't giving him anything. You choose to do that, you're giving that to yourself. Mm. Boom. He speaks from experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's Jamie. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that face. <laughs> the Richmond are off. Oh, that's astonishing control from Tart. <laughs> Interesting choice of shot there. They never show the ball. They only show Jamie the entire time. And Richmond with a late substitution. He had his moment. Now they're going to protect yep. him. His injury. That's what he needed. And listen to this response from the city supporters. An ovation for a visiting player who is also one of their own. You don't hear this every day. Come on. He's a tough kid. His dad would have been proud. Would have been proud. There he is. Yep. To the occasion. With time running out. Is he in rehab? Is like a re or like a rehab clinic? That's what I was thinking. And after that sterling performance from Richmond, the Premier League title will come down to the final week of the season. Chris, they could win the whole effing thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, almost fruity language there, folks. <laughs> Just help these guys be the best version of themselves on and off the beach. This at the end is the most important thing. I couldn't agree more, coach. Right, Take care. <gasps> All right. Well, give Dottie my love. Will do. Actually, hold on a sec, coach. Check this out. So look, after we came in, Nate had to hide under my desk here for like three whole hours while we were all hooping and hollering and celebrating all around him. And boom, cleaning crew shows up. Oh man, <laughs> that's another <laughs> two hours under that desk. Jesus. Yeah. Look at this, he goes to check the doors, but they're all locked. <laughs> oh man, that son of a gun. Had to climb out the window here just to get out of the building. <laughs> God, the tape just gets worse. I hope that either all of us or none of us are judged by the actions of our weakest moments, but rather by the strength we show when and if we're ever given a second chance. Be curious, not judgmental, obviously. Fuck. <laughs> I love how they're all starting to take on Royisms. So, um... I don't know if you heard, but Derek fired me today. That bastard! Yeah. <laughs> I have to go back to Richmond. 
to make things right. Currently writing Ted an apology letter. It's 60 pages, but I'm just looking for a few things. 60 pages. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ted and I met playing college football. He was a backup punter and I was a backup kicker. Never heard their origin story. I'm looking forward to this. He was dating Michelle, got into coaching. And I got into prison. Prison? He took me in, fed me. That's why he's so protective. Crash on his couch. I'd say so. And in return, I stole his car. Ugh. And I would have gone straight back to prison if Ted didn't come down there and convince those cops that he gave me the car. Just like in Les Mis. Our story is very similar to Les Mis. Yes. <laughs> yes. For stealing a loaf of meth. And then I stole from my friend. Who forgave me. So to honor that, I forgive you. Damn. I offer you a job. The life part's up to you. Oh, that tear. You sure you don't want to headbutt me? I think it might make us feel better. Monday, 10 a.m. That explains so much about Beard. Yeah. If you got something you need to say to me, I'd appreciate if you just went ahead and said it. Oh, hmm. stop. I... Well, thank you. Cooking dinner, both of them. No, oh, you're welcome. And fuck you for not wanting to talk. Oh. Thank you for flying all the way here to come see me. And fuck you for not telling me you were coming. Mm. For seeking help after we lost Dad. And for not talking to me about it either. Just glossing over the whole thing and acting like everything was all right. Sheesh. All right, I, I appreciate you uh, sharing all this with me. Just wish you hadn't carried it around for so long. You're right, Ted, I do have something to say to you. Mm -hmm. Your son misses you. Oh boy. It's like I'm scared. And sometimes like get close to that little boy. Oh, honey, why? Because I know he's gonna leave. That is the thing. Very emotional episode. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you lose and sometimes you win, but most of the time you just tie. All we can do is keep playing. Thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, uh, this therapist must be doing you some good. She needs to come back. Where's Dr. Sharon? We got one more episode. Oh, wait, here's about this. OK, you know what? Let's yeah. start the wine. Let's do it, please. <laughs> can we come in? We. The baby. Oh no. Ah. Uh, yep. Miss Cakes. Oh, Rupert's done for. Oh yeah, he is. Now this is that time of year when I come down here and reveal something ah, to you. There you go. I was thinking something would pop into my head, but nope, absolutely nothing. Sorry, Ted. Mm. I got one. Uh oh. Going home? Uh, bit of a cliffhanger, but I think we know where Ted's head's at with this. I think it's pretty obvious. And we got our Ted episode, by the way. I know we've been waiting for that. There's been people talking about how they want more focus on Ted. It wasn't entirely about Ted, but it was an hour and nine minutes. So, yes, they had to fit some other people in. But yeah, I mean, we, we, need, we needed some Jamie as well. This was a real Jamie moment that i think we needed with all mm. the other things that happened last episode we needed this and getting the backstory on beard you know you kind of wonder why beard just kind of is willing to pick up and follow him wherever he goes type of deal now we find out why and i mean it's a very ted thing to do but still yeah i don't know that i ever like wondered it about beard I just thought that that was just the kind of person he was he kind of latched on to somebody and was loyal but that moment where he's he's having Nate listen to what he has to say. There's been so many great beard moments and funny, funny, funny beard moments. But that might be the best moment beard has had the entire series for me. Right. We knew that, you know, 
Ted would forgive Nate. So obviously the most logical choice for somebody who's going to hold it against him is going to be Beard based on that backstory, right? But at the same time, Ted was able to get through to Beard in a way that let him know, yeah, he deserves a second chance without saying like you did. Jade is exactly the type of girl that Nate needs, the kind that doesn't take any and will kick him in a polite way when he needs it. Not only did she push him back to Richmond, she like orchestrated it. <laughs> she, oh yeah. She, she, she got him fired. Him to get fired. Yeah. Yeah. At a job that he was essentially the best employee the guy's ever had. <laughs> I mean, obviously always curious about Ted's mom, but never thought I needed that moment of Ted's mom as much as when he said, thank you and fuck you. Because as much as he had issues and baggage with his dad, it makes so much more sense that he learned to pack it away from his mom and not deal with it. You know, that was a, something he learned from her, which is ultimately what caused so much anxiety for him in the long run. Right. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it wasn't, she wasn't a surprising character in terms of like, you can see where Ted gets it. Right. And it's, there are moments where she's entertaining. She's very pleasant to be around just like Ted, but you can tell that there was, you know, it was a, it was a bit of a front at times and Ted essentially called her out on it, but ultimately it was more about him also coming full circle and realizing that he has avoided a, as deep of a relationship with his son as he would like. And that's where I think obviously we're leading to. I mean, we've all speculated that maybe Ted is going to leave. I'm thinking the timing is, is right for possibly Nate to take over as head coach. Mm. Roy assistant head coach and beard and Ted leave. I don't know. I think uh, I could see that happening. It wouldn't surprise me. I also feel like Nate has been humbled a bit. I mean, I think he, he catapulted so quickly for the West ham gig and clearly he's overcompensating by saying, well, now I'm going to go, you know, serve at this restaurant that I enjoy for him to, kind of bounce right back to head coach of Richmond. Again, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I do feel like it maybe feels a bit more natural for him to serve as like either co or assistant to like a Roy or somebody, you know, maybe that that's the way it goes is it's Roy and Nate. But in any case, you know, I could totally see them taking over the team while beard and Ted leaves. The only thing to, that, you know, loose end for beard though is Jane. So you know, but they've yeah. broken up before, so who knows? Jane will follow him, whether he wants it or not. They've done so many of these episodes lately where it's just kind of like some major event happened in between the episodes that we just don't see. I'm worried that we're going to start the next episode and Ted and Rebecca are going to have that talk. Speaking of Jamie, there was a lot there, like you said. <laughs> The posters on the wall, the fact that those two living beings from those posters were sitting on his bed, as we said during the reaction, and also like his father. I mean, I was really waiting for that moment, and I I pictured it in my mind as a confrontation, and it, it was a nice touch. The fact that he wasn't there, and he was being treated, you know, and Jamie had to, he was relying so much on that, that animosity, that feeling, that fire that he was looking for. And he kind of just had to figure it out in his own way. And they introduced his mother, of course, a little big, very mother based episode. But yeah, I, I, I liked the Jamie story. I feel like we, I feel very complete with the Jamie Tart story at this point. There is apparently some sort of loose string with Roy and Keeley, though, because it seemed like last episode that they were back together, but then we <laughs> find out that they're, they're friends. But Roy's trying to tell her he wants to be more than just friends. So there's apparently a little hurdle that still needs to be um, accomplished here. I'm I'm not sure how I feel about that at all. I felt like we kind of had that tied up. It was the one thing we didn't yeah. have to worry about. And now we're... Right. I thought yeah. it was perfect. Him just coming out in her bathrobe and stuff like that. Yeah. It was smiling. I thought that was perfect. That That's all we needed. I didn't need to know that apparently they're acting as just friends um, and not only that but they bring it up as a reintroducing the fact that they're still trying to sort things out and they didn't get a chance to have the conversation on screen and i, so. I have to say i love the fact that every city they go to every hotel they stay in the the video on the tv is keely <laughs> i'm assuming the final episode is going to be at least an hour long also put it this way like we may be wearing different clothes 
like things will just like <laughs> it'll just cut and we're wearing different clothes and it's different lighting because <laughs> we're doing it in parts <clears throat> love to get your thoughts on this episode was there anything we missed we'd love to hear your feedback we obviously do check out the comments and even reply to some so you know leave those down below like share subscribe and until next week this is adam and andrew with it takes two takes i'm sorry Oh, you just went off camera. Uh, I, 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 I don't think it made the cut last week, except then. Oh, your camera went out. I'm going to have to troubleshoot that now. Oh, you're back. That's it. All right. Let's try this again.